Good morning, everybody. How's it going? How we doing? Um, it's a beautiful morning. We are just about to head out. I think we are going to get this passport thing finally done so they can travel. Uh, it's been last minute, but Malaysian passport you only need like a day, and then you get the new passport anyway. So it's pretty chill. And then we got to return this puppy and get our old car back. So that should be cool. Um, I think that's what we're doing for today and that should take us most of the day because we have to go back and forth to the city and suburbs and all that kind of stuff so yeah we'll just check in with you later all right so we're on St. Kilda Road um, we just parked kind of parking but we haven't got coins so we're trying to get to the cafe get some coins um, I think the building is somewhere back there a couple of buildings back uh, we're looking for 342, this is 346, so about four buildings back, so that should be good. An hour parking, so we've only got about an hour left anyway, so we really need a hustle to make this passport thing happen. I think the number right now is going about 22. We've got 61. So that's at least an hour or so away, I reckon. Uh, yeah. Let's see how we go. Uh, when this cafe downstairs apparently is good for Nasi Lemak, so we're just gonna wait and see um, how good it is, I guess. I'll show it to you in a sec. Just gonna grab some lunch, pretty much, yeah. They give me a long bar, no? Why? It's wrong. What's wrong? It's for someone else and they gave it. Oh, cool. Okay, sit wrap. So, we went to return the, the rental car, but we forgot one of the keys. So, I took the cab here to, to pick up my car. Now, I'm going to go pick up the, the key from home and then go back to return the rental car and then go pick up my passport. So here we go. Okay, Sima. We are in our own car. The Shumi is driving quite okay. I think we might need to do a service and um, I think because of the roof right, it's making a lot of noise. So we might need to come up with a plan to make a piece of post back to, for aerodynamic reasons so that it doesn't have a lot of noise when I'm on the freeway. Um, other than that, it's driving fine. Um, I love this car back, so pretty happy. Um, now, I'm just, it's 3.30, so it's a little bit later than I wanted to, so, um, but I just have to rush, 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 rush. So I gotta rush to get, pick up, I think, yeah, I think the plan is better to pick up my passport first. Um, yeah, so pick up my passport first and then go return the car because that might be a big hassle because there's some billing issues and they're going to give me back my deposits and all that kind of stuff uh, because yeah for some reason they've charged me um, extra so I want to get down to the bottom of that to find out what the heck's going on with that um, so I can get my money back because they charged me what 200 bucks for a deposit, 80 bucks for something, I have no idea what it is, 88 for something, I have no idea what it is, and 96 for something, I have no idea what it is. So, um, they shouldn't be charging me anything besides the 200 bucks deposit because everything is covered by my insurance. If they're going to charge anybody, they should charge the insurance, not me. So, we'll sort that out, and in the meantime, let's go pick this passport up so that I can get it all settled. Um, I think that's it. We'll check in with you later. Good job. So, this one down. We have a Malaysian passport. We're good to travel. Um, so that's pretty exciting. We are good to travel. Uh, now, let's get this car rental business fixed, hey, shall we? Oh, right. Right. Now that our long day is pretty much Oh, 
I really wanted to end anyway. Um, but because of all this rushing around and all that kind of stuff, we hit peak hour traffic, which means we're going to see the traffic for an hour and a half if we get home or do what like we do. Um, so I get fur, so I get an early lunch and uh, early dinner. Um, yeah, and just check this out. Just found a really nice bike. That's really cool. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get some fur, bowl, uh, early dinner before we head home. got a whole lot of goodies sent to us. Uh, first off, I'll show you to you guys. First of all, <coughs> we've got a food vacuum sewer and see one on the side. Sous vide, I'll show it to you now. So basically, because the brother's a chef, we bought this sous vide machine. Check it out. We have a sous vide and I think we're cooking chicken right now in there um, Hakuta, I cannot wait to eat that chicken um, if you guys don't know what sous vide is um, go google it, google it <laughs> and on top of that we have um, the case for our printer now this case cost me so much money it cost me so much money in shipping to get it from the states over here so yeah it's a road case i haven't taken it out yet um so the basic idea is we have this massive printer for a photo booth and it comes in a normal cardboard box and because it you can see right there that's 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 it right there right and um the box is falling apart right and because you can only keep it in that box as in like it needs to travel um, it's so fragile that it needs to travel with the box and everything right so um, I haven't been able to find anybody to get me a box that fits it or make me a box so I finally found a place in the States that will do it in Australia post through Shopmate I think it's called Shopmate so Shopmate what it does is um, you buy something, you register an account, you buy something from the States, it gives you a United States uh, address that you sent it to, and you sent it to that address, and what happened is that shopmate from that address will forward back to you to Australia, and what it does is it charges you by weight. That's right, and this, this box costs a lot. I mean, just to ship it, not included in the original shipping, to get two shopmates address in the states, um, I think I paid three, four hundred bucks to get it into Australia. So that's pretty cool. I'll grab it out and I'll show it to you guys later. Uh, but right now, I just gotta go clean up some stuff. All right, how's it going, guys? As you can see, we're once again on the road. So at the moment, we're heading back. Well, I'm already in the city. We're heading back into the city um, to meet this buyer or this seller. He's selling me a. Uh, Elder Chrome Focus One and a cage rig for the new GF4 that um, I'm going to be getting um, from Japan. So, Hachi's going to buy that for me from Japan and meet me in Malaysia with it. So, that'll be all cool. So, that's going to be the new filming rig 4K and everything. So, I know it's a little bit late to the party, but. Um, I think it's just 2015 is just time to upgrade so I think the idea is to have as a, as a work work rig to have two GS4 GH4s and maybe a one and maybe one Sony A7S um, uh, just because with this system we don't have to change any of our lenses we just have to buy the adapters for them and that seems to save a lot a lot of money 
And if, if we do want to buy lenses, there's a whole bunch of cheap lenses to buy or nice usable lenses to buy and all that kind of stuff. So um, it's just a sensible way. It's just a smaller system, but the quality is amazing. So there's no, uh, I don't know, don't really care about the size, I guess, of the camera itself. I mean, smaller is even better. Um, so yes, so I'm picking up, yeah, before I even get my body, I'm picking up the cage and the cage and the follow focus system and after which i think we're gonna buy a, a 3 xl gimbal which would be probably the smallest one that we can find which is the nubula 4000 um, so that one should be really good anyway i'm here so i'm just gonna try to find a park i'll chat with you guys later okay guys it's been a hectic night um just been trying to book an accommodation for me when I'm in KL and that doesn't look good but anyway I managed to get the printer case out of this box but I haven't got time for it um, that's the thing I want to pick up before the cage for the GH4 and the Elder Crime um, follow focus or focus one it's called um, I haven't got time to do anything with that now with them but anyway uh it is i don't know i think it's about 12 one o'clock i don't know and i'm getting hungry and the brother has to be some chicken check it out so i'm gonna take part in some chicken and get some more work done and cook at night in the meantime, I think we're planning on moving um, away from this house in Box Hill. Um, I've just been looking online. There might be some cool, really cool warehouse spaces out in Collingwood, which is near the city, um, that could accommodate me and my brother, Brenda, if she wants to, as well as the office. So, um, coming up this year i think we're gonna have a few workers in the office and i'm gonna work from home like legit seriously put my feet down get all the stuff i want to do day in day out out of the way um so yeah we'll see how we can